Okay, the uh, taunt, yes, all right? You can't do anything in this city without a sound machine blasting. The time is 2.48 p.m. Eastern time zone, October 18th, 2024. This is what I need to say. Just, I sound upset because yes, I've been trapped in this fucking place for five years. I've been having to blast this ever since fucking hookers started getting killed in here five years ago. Just bear with me, anyone who might care about my life, about my womanhood, about my fucking life that's been stolen from me for five years. First of all, to the people out there in the country of the United States, there is 9% of your population. I haven't got into the, who that 9% is. Are they drug addicts? Are they penal system? Look, we'll get to that later. 9% of your population, you Google the population of the United States and do the math about the 9%. It's too fucking noisy in here for me to go beyond that. I tried, I couldn't, it's too fucking noisy. I'm plugging my ears, both my hands are occupied and I've got this thing going. You just can't do anything here except just your basic primal survival. I've had enough. I've absolutely had enough. Okay. 9% of the US population is gung-ho, is all for, is great, is cool with, is socially normal, fine and dandy with the cannibalism that I know and these men in the military know. We know. I. I can't say when the last time I, I witnessed it. I can't say when. There's 9% of the population in the United States that's gung-ho with the, the desecration of dead bodies, chopping them up. There's 9% of the population that's gung-ho with the organ harvesting, literally chopping them up, grabbing out the kidneys and the livers and selling it on the black market. Most this town is clearly all for it, okay? You can walk around and witness that yourself. Um, they, 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 they're trying to defend this shit in their city courthouse, okay? So it's toast here. We don't need to research this. But the rest of the U.S. population isn't for the barbarianism. What they're for is the January 6th capital overthrow and they have these visions of grandeur these these grandiose visions of military cooping jets with ukrainian pilots everybody bombing the u.s cooping military for white supremacy this is their fantasy grand grand vision i'm not kidding but most of the the cities in the United States that have been taken for white nationalism, which is a lot of our major cities. Chicago is one, Seattle is another. They literally have um, people out of the prison system that work in the police departments there. It's just gone, it's toast, your towns are done, okay? I don't know how to get this more clear to you. Um, these towns, you can walk the streets of Capitol Hill in, in Washington, Seattle. There's a neighborhood called Capitol Hill. You can walk and it's just a, 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 an entire area, an entire town devoted to Vladimir Putin's Russian oligarch, Russian oligarch organized crime. Because that's what the oligarchs are. You can walk the neighborhoods of Seattle and see how they're devoted and loyal to nothing but Sharia law, college students. Sharia law, Palestinian protesters. If you're not down with that, you're not, you're not, you're not going to get an apartment, a job, or even any safety in a city like Seattle. So Seattle, don't be surprised when what happens to you happens. Don't be surprised. Same for New York. Same for Chicago. Don't look at me like you're a dumb dumb. Washington, D.C. is um, one of the cities that ha has a lot of the 9% that are all good with social norm 
to fry up human organs after you chop them up in your bedroom, go ahead and eat them. See if it tastes good with mushrooms and onions. This is called utter barbarianism. There's 9% of our population that's all good with that. The rest of them, like in Seattle, Chicago, New York, and other towns, LA is, it's, LA is, oh, there's only a few police departments there that are actually good guy military departments. LA is pretty much gone. LA has been taken for the Palestinian protesters. It's called Arabic organized crime. Arabic organized crime is with Vladimir Putin and his Russian oligarch organized crime. Say goodbye to any sort of acting or any sort of, you know, legitimate job. No, if you're a female, your job is to sell your sex, to sell your vagina to any man that comes along. That is your job. That is your ascribed status as a woman in the United States. This is Putin and Saudi Prince's grand fantasy dream for women in my country. They're fucking high and I'm getting to it. There's a lot to cram in in 14 minutes. Okay? They have radicalized my U.S. population. So now we've got millions of psychotic people in my country thinking, yeah, let me sell my body. I don't want to work. This seems better. I can become a movie star and go to the Oscars like that. It's not better. I'm not even getting into the argument how fucked up selling your body to every Tom, Dick, and Harry is and sticking his dick in your mouth is. It's not better, dude. I'm glad I never did that. I'd rather be on the sidewalk in a tent. Thanks, Putin, for ruining my country. (coughs) Thanks, Saudi Prince, for ruining my life, keeping me unemployed. I'm not surprised. Thanks. You took the Vatican. You took the Pope. You can have it. Okay, you can have it. Don't look to us, the good guys, when you see what happens to the Vatican like you're dum-dums, okay? You can have it for now. You can have your disgusting Pope who talks about jacking off and masturbating at his pulpit and then goes after the country of Israel when he's done. By the way, masturbation is a gift from God and I want everybody in my parish, in my, in my Catholic church right now to masturbate and say you hate Israel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go ahead, Pope. Keep attacking Russia. Keep attacking in your pulpit the country of Israel. Keep attacking China. And talk about how you're jacking off, motherfucker. Talk about how you can bring all these twisted transvestite people into the church. And they can get married. An orthodox church. We know what you did, Pope. You handed the Vatican over to Iran. That's what you did. And you know you did it. So don't look at me like a dum-dum when what happens to the Vatican happens, motherfucker, but you won't be looking at me. There's 9% of the people in our population in the United States that are all for frying up somebody that you killed in your house. You kill them. You chop them up. Then you start deciding what part of them that you want to eat and fry it with what? Some okra, some corn, some mushrooms. Let's try their skin and this part of their leg. And we'll fry it up with uh, some fish. You want to make a soup? I've witnessed it. The professional militaries know this. They've witnessed it. Don't be surprised with what happens to the United States. At any day now, I told you. The good guys are going to strike the sovereign territory of the United States of America. Don't look at me like you're a dumb dumb and you wonder why. The only thing I'm allowed to report in 14 minutes to cram the shit in. Is they've been using biological weapons on me. It's no doubt some sort of bio agent. And it's horrendous hell. And they, they almost killed me with it in here. But I couldn't talk about it. And then it stopped. But I can't talk about the chemical gases they use. I'm forbidden from talking about any of it. They used it, the bio agent for over two weeks. 
they were stockpiling it and they used it 24 hours a day and there was nothing but uh see i can't talk about what caused this next statement so there's a cause and there's an effect and the effect is all i can talk about i can't talk about what caused it are we clear okay the only thing i can say is the bioweapon stopped being used as a main weapon on me after the whole place stinks of dead bodies my extra room the hallway the stairs floor one and anywhere you go down there anywhere you go floor three the whole house for days dead stinking corpses every time i turn my bathtub on just to even run water okay for two minutes they've got it rigged up with their plumbing here with the way they chop up all the dead bodies my extra room in my my quarters fills up in a matter of 30 seconds to 60 seconds with dead fucking rotting bodies remember how i said that about the the bathroom sink was well, happening in my room now and it's been happening for at least two weeks ever since the bioweapon agents were being used and there was a cause but i can't talk about it all i can talk about is the effect and the effect is the piles of dead fucking bodies on s street and inside of this fucking house all i do when they fill up my room with their dead corpses is i run into my main room and i close my door and i breathe and i make sure that i'm cognizant and very conscious that there's no dead bodies in here stay calm breathe through your nose calm down i'm not allowed to talk about anything nothing no other poisons being used on me no causes to the effect of all the dead bodies but what i am to say i've got like a minute and a half left is the reason why this is happening is it's Putin, who's attacking the United States with the Prince of Saudi Arabia and the royal family of Saudi Arabia, which is their disgusting, corrupt government in the Middle East. Okay, so they're setting up a warehouse of many different uh, things here. I'll just say things, okay, because I don't know what words to use. A lot of these uh, descriptives, I'm not allowed to say them. It's not that I can't remember them. Illegal things here. Massive, massive illegal things that have to do with serious warfare. They're setting it up here. There has been such serious events here that I will never forget that never, ever, even ever happened until recently. It was like the first time it happened that I'm forbidden from talking about. And I knew when I was witnessing it and when it was going on that, well, you know, you'll never forget it. And um, I knew that this was way serious. Like, Heidi, you probably can't put that right away on the Internet. Nope. So I'm very, very cognizant that I'm in the middle of something that's way bigger than me. And I better just really mind my P's and Q's. I've got less than a minute left. The reason why there's all these idiot construction men all up and down in private construction, all up and down on S Street. And if you go to the alley, there's a whole bunch of uh, construction men in the houses in the back. They're circling and surrounding this compound. Is because of the Saudi prince. Yes, the Al-Qaeda terrorist is who they are. They're Al-Qaeda terrorists, okay? And because of Vladimir Putin. They're hanging on to power. They're trying to strike other countries and strike the United States from Washington, D.C. And that is all I'm allowed to say. And I have no time left. Goodbye.